Hi, Jo Wiley here in the Radio 2 piano room and this with her band and later with the BBC Concert Orchestra is Pink. Lying here on the floor where you left me I think I took too much I'm crying here What have you done? I thought it would be fun I can't see on you like there's a shortage in the switch I can't stay on your morphine Cause it's making me itch Said so I try to call the nurse again But she's been a little I think I'll get out of here Where I can run Just as fast as I can To the middle of nowhere To the middle of my frustrated fears And I swear You're just like a pill
Hi, it's been a while. I know. <laughs> how are you? Oh, I'm really good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Oh, I gotta be careful how I sit in this. Okay, all right. If there's any errors, I'll tell you. Let don't worry. Know. Trust me. That's no, fine. <laughs> it's been 21 years since I first interviewed oh you. Can my you believe goodness. that? 21 years. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Nope. You're still just as, as lovely. immature. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah, just as immature. <laughs> no. Just as much fun. That's Thank what I was going to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, congratulations. The record. Thanks. You must be feeling so happy. With I this am. Record, trustful. I feel so good. I feel settled and anxious and excited and nervous and uh, I care a lot. I'm I'm proud. Yeah. yeah. I read that you, when you put a record together, you ask yourself a question and you say, "What hurts? What am I confused about? What am I feeling right now?" Yeah. So, what were you feeling to that goes into this record? Oh my gosh, intense fear. I was feeling like the world was ending. I was feeling. <clears throat> like it's really hard to be a parent in a pandemic. It's hard to lose a parent at any, any time. Um, and then I was also feeling like, man, I am stressed out and I just want to turn it up to 11 and just put my roller skates on and dance. So it's just life, right? 9 a.m. is great, 10 is a little rough. By noon, you're a little hungry. 1 p.m. it's fun again. It's, it's all over the place. And there's a real resilience to you, which I is very, that. very apparent. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I think I also read that you said um, that you know you can you can be hurt by things that you read reviews, but oh, you're but it's not going to change your course no. and your intention. Where does no. that come from? Um, probably my dad. I, it's nature versus nurture, right? I was I came out of the womb screaming, and then I kind of never stopped. But then my dad was a Vietnam vet. He was his nickname was Mr. Cause. He was a letter writer, um, and I was I would march on Washington with him and. Um, Coming from a military family, you're raised very patriotically, but you're also raised with a sort of responsibility to um, participate. And I was raised with a responsibility to participate. And I do believe I have a responsibility with this platform to stand up for what I think is good and what I think is right. And um, yeah, and that's inclusivity and diversity and equality and, and women's rights and gay rights and all the things. So it's a powerful message to send to your kids and to all the people who buy your records. Yeah. You're here for the Radio 2 Piano Room. You're I playing know. at Maid of Ale. What does this place mean to you? Oh, it's so beautiful here. You can just feel the history. It's beautiful. I Do love it. Does it make you up your game or does you, do you feel like you're channeling the spirits of Bing Crosby who's performed in here before and the Beatles? <gasps> That just makes me feel like Christmas. Um, yeah, I'm always trying to up my game. Okay, well, let's see the magic happen. This is Pink, live from the BBC Maidavell Studios with the BBC Concert Orchestra. Let's go. 
think of you when I think about forever. I hear a joke and I know you would have told it better. I think of you out of the blue when I'm watching a movie that you would hate. You would say it, you would never want to hesitate. How does being a mum and being a musician, how do they overlap? Do they, can you keep them separate or are they always intertwined for you? I think they're, that's really hard to say because they come on the road with me. And so they are a part of that. And then I'm home and I'm chaperoning her middle school dance and helping her pick out a dress and then I'm taking her to school. And her principal's like, oh, should I get tickets to New York or Vegas? And I'm like, probably Vegas. She's like, bye mom. It's just all. It's all one thing. Yeah, and the tour's coming up and it's the carnival tour which yes. just conjures up so many amazing images. <laughs> so what do we get? Ah, oh, it's gonna be so fun. I can't believe I'm a grown woman and I get to climb on these things. Um, I walked away from our meeting the other night and I was like, wh why am I, why do I get to do this? It's just, there's so many songs to choose from. And as you've seen, I don't think I'm biased by saying that I have the best band I mean, they're just incredible humans, incredible musicians. So we've got the music, because I believe my philosophy about shows is smoke and mirrors, sure. Make it, make it beautiful, have great outfits, whatever you want to do. But you have to be able to take all of that away, and it has to be about the music. And you have to be able to perform everything acoustically. And it should work in a club, an arena, and a stadium. And then you have a show. And I love Broadway, and I like theater, and I like rock and roll, and I like punk rock, and I like it all. So, and I like glossy pop. So it's just kind of la. It's just a spice rack of fun. Okay. Visually, or any tricks or anything? I mean, is Willow going to be appearing at any point? She, she must be desperate to join the circus. Come on. She's worried that my touring now is interrupting her theater production schedule. Mm -hmm. So we're working that out. Um, 
She's thinking about maybe a hoverboard number. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And you'd be happy with that. Well, she has a job under the stage as well during the show. She works My Dancer's Quick Change. And so we were just going over minimum wage and how much she was going to, and I, we calculated it out that it would be $22.50 a show. And she goes, I'll just take 20 so it's easier math. I go, excuse me? You never round down when you're negotiating for yourself. What you say is, I'll take 25 to make it easier math for you. And then I say, yes, dear. That's how you negotiate your price. <laughs> She's like, okay, mom, whatever. Sounds like the spirit of your dad is thread through oh, your family. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you the can see it. The first time I saw Willow snap, like become allergic to injustice, I was like, oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm not. We'd love to have some more music from Great, you if that's I'm okay. In. Okay, um, so I'll let you All move right. on in and we'll get some more music from Do Pinky this. Just a second. Don't fall over. Okay, <laughs> I won't. She's good. <laughs> uh, this is Pink now and this is What About Us. Yeah. 
about us? What about us? What about what I? You took my hand, you showed me how You promised me you'd be around Uh-huh, that's right
Why to stop? Amazing. Come on, sit down. Thanks. That was amazing. That's the song. That oh my god, that leaps out of the radio at you. It's such that a party makes me anthem. So happy. Yeah, and and that's the intention. Isn't it? It's mm -hmm. it's about as the world falls off its axis or spins off its axis. Just dance. Yeah. Roller skate. Whatever else Laugh, can you do? Cuddle. Physically, I just wanted to ask you about your physicality as well because you have to be strong to do this. I'm you... strong like a bull. Okay, so you've. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I need to pick up a car, I can. So you're safe with me. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, it's incredibly demanding, isn't it? Yes. Do, you, do you hurt after the show? Do oh yes. You... Yeah. It can be sore. Plus all the harnesses. That can be a weird feeling. Um, but. I mean, I've been a gymnast since I was four years old, so do that math. I don't want to. Um, yeah, but the body is strong and ready I'm, for this tour. I love, be, I love the strength. I love being fit. I always tell Willow it's not about vanity or jeans you can fit into. It's how, how f strong do you feel? And for me, it starts from my core, and that's where my intuition and my gut and my clarity comes from as well. So if I'm strong there, I feel, I feel tethered. It's a good message. Yeah. I just want to know what it was like working with the concert orchestra, the BBC concert orchestra, because, you know, we're talking the creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. I've never seen anyone read music and play something that fast in my entire life. It was, for me, as a person that grew up in singing lessons, singing Phantom of the Opera and Les Mis, to be with an orchestra, I've only done it one other time or two other times, maybe one a million reasons. Is that the name of yep. it? Million dreams? Million dreams. Million dreams. Wrong song and uh, Oscars for Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So I've only really done it a couple of times and it's very different and it's very magical. Okay, we want to see more if that's okay. Okay, okay thank you, Thanks. I'll let you take, take your position, thank you.
your planet, mama, in the backyard. All day when you were away. I know that living with you, baby, was sometimes hard. But I'm willing to give it another try. Tragedy combined, but we both can live without it, and we tried. We should take our own advice. Mm, don't give up. There's a mountain in the middle of the road. It'll take a little longer to get home. Baby, all we've got is time. Driving on a bumpy road at night You can meet me in the corners of your mind We can build a new cloud nine If you're alive Then it means that you're committed to survive That's enough to drain the life from you sometimes But I hold on tight What about us? 